Hey, good morning. Before the kids wake up, I was for some reason inspired to talk about an SEO tool. And just I thought I could show you what it's kind of like and how I use it for my business. Uh, because I think there's a lot of people out there, uh, maybe you, that um, know that this idea of SEO is important, uh, that it's good to get your website to rank when people are searching for certain things. And I just want to show how a tool, uh, an SEO focused tool can help out uh, with coming up with new ideas and, and just thinking about what you can do. So here's a great example. Um, it's if you look at right here where it says keyword opportunities, so I'm using a tool called Uber Suggest, and you can use it for free. Um, there's a there's a free version, but once you connect your website to it and it kind of does its analysis, um, which uh, it just kind of does in the background, it'll kind of give you this sense of hey, there's certain keywords that you're on page two, and if you put a little bit more effort, uh, then you can get on page one. Uh, so here's a great example. So I build websites with a platform called Webflow. And there's people out there that are typing in Webflow domain transfer. And this is typical when, let's say, we want to take uh, a Webflow uh, from one account and move it to another. So there's actually people looking up, uh, looking that information up. And the numbers here, I don't worry about them so much. It's just that what I do notice is this position. Um, so it says 11. So that means that I'm on the second page. And if I can get in the top three, you know, so uh, yeah, so if I can move this from 11 to, to three, then that would be great. And what it's basically telling me is that, hey, this blog post is kind of showing up on page two uh, for this, uh, for these keywords, and go ahead and do something to them. <laughs> so what does that mean? Well, there's a let's take a look at the the page and I just updated it. What when you look at your website or, or the page that's being spotted, you can kind of get a feel of how much content you have. Uh, are you using those keywords in, let's say, in your headers? Uh, so I noticed that I I did not. And so I went ahead and just added Webflow domain transfer. So I did that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I made sure to add that on various uh, along in the inside the paragraphs. So that's the kind of idea of having keyword research or using these tools is that they kind of say, hey, I spotted something. You're a little bit light on using certain words. It's going to help me uh, help me Google uh, recognize that uh, what you're you know what you're an expert about. And so if you can add, <clears throat> if you can add these, then, um, okay, then maybe I might boost your ranking. I might show, show you a little bit higher. So that's really all it is. And then, so what I did was I just added those words and now I publish and then I wait and then we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks if, uh, <clears throat> if, uh, it ends up, uh, improving. So I just thought this was a good example just to show it's kind of hands-on. All right. Thank you. And <laughs> Time to wake up my monsters.